let's dive in to Schoology Assessment Item Banks. Building item banks takes place in your resources. Here I'm in my group personal resources, but you can also build them in your group resources and share them amongst your teammates. You click Add Resources, Add Item Bank. Then you can add a specific name and a description based on how you're organizing. And this is really where the planning comes in. You can organize your item banks by the standards the questions addressed, by the type of questions, such as their modality. You can organize it by the use. Are you using these questions as entry or exit tickets like bell ringers? Are you using these uh, questions for formative assessment? Are you using these questions as a summative? Um, these item banks are so flexible and the Schoology assessment feature adds a lot of power and flexibility to how you could be using an item bank. And so once you've created it, you click save. And from here, you have all the question choices that you have in assessment. From here, you can start adding questions based on how you chose to organize the types of questions or whether they're standard specific, etc. cetera. Um, here, I'm starting to add a label image question. And once you get questions added to your bank, we're gonna see how easy it is to add them to a course assessment. You're building either in your sandbox or in your Schoology course. Next, we're gonna look at building an assessment with item banks. Navigate to your sandbox or your course in Schoology. And if you were adding an assessment for the first time, you would click Add Materials, Add Assessment. A publication and setup window would pop up similar to an assignment, and then you would be taken into the assessment setup. If you haven't ever set up an assessment before, we have resources that can guide you through that process. Here, I have a sample assessment that I've already started, and I'm gonna add item bank questions to that assessment. I'm gonna open my assessment, and you'll see I already have some questions built. From here in the top left-hand corner, I can go and select Add from Item Bank. When I do that, it'll open my resources. I can choose personal or group depending on where I have built the item banks. Here I'm gonna select personal and home. Notice I have four different item banks to choose from. I'm gonna start with the one titled sample unit. From this bank, I'm gonna choose add randomized items, the option in the top right hand corner. When I do this, I can select the number of items I want pulled from this item bank and how many points each item is. Then I click add items. And at the bottom, I'll select add items again. And when I scroll down, I'll be able to see that there is a randomized from item bank one item for five points. Now I'm gonna select from another bank because I can add from multiple banks using item banks. Here I'm adding all three of these questions from this other bank. And I'm gonna click add three items once I've selected those boxes. And as I scroll down, I can see that those three items have been added. I can customize the point values, add rubrics, um, change the setup. All the things that I could do before an assessment I can do. I just build my questions as an item bank and add from there, making it easier for me to reuse questions year to year. Want to dive a little deeper into the power behind item banks and course assessments in Schoology? Contact your DLC.